Hey everyone, it's Comp Helps MVP Dude 808, and get ready for a long tutorial on how to make a magic memory card in a Pandora's battery. Now, it's actually a really fast process, but I'm going to be explaining it, so it's going to take a little while, okay? So, uh, let's go. Let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need four things. Four things to ultimately hack your PSP. Now, the first thing you need is a PSP with firmware 1.5. The second thing you need is a regular fat PSP battery fat one, not a slim. Now this, uh, you, you're, you're going to need a PSP fat version to do this, okay? So, the fat one, the one that up and opens like that, okay? And the next thing you're going to need is a, uh, um, official Memory Stick Pro Duo Memory, or, yeah, Memory Stick, okay? Recommended, I recommend, um, at least 512 megabytes for this. Um, and the last thing you're going to need is a USB connection. Okay. Alright, so first of all, let me go over all the stuff, technical stuff. Alright, this is going to be on your own risk if anything happens to your memory stick battery or PSP. I will not be held responsible for this. You're doing this on your own decision, so um, just remember that, okay? I I'm not going to take any responsibility for it. This is all on you. It's your choice whether you continue on this video or not. So far, I've done it. I've done this a uh, couple times, a lot of times, like at least five times, and uh, it's worked perfectly for me. So I mean, low chance of it actually corrupting your memory stick or battery, but it can happen. Okay. So, all right. Uh, first of all, let me show you that this is a regular battery, and uh. The good thing about my method right now is that you're not going to have to open your PSP battery at all. I've already tried that. Yes, I already tried to open my PSP battery because I didn't know this way existed. I opened it successfully and everything. Got into it where all the chip stuff is. I was going to cut the wire. I fried it. Okay, I started smoking and I threw it outside. Um, this is actually my brother's PSP stuff and uh, thank you, my brother. Thank you, Sean, for letting me do this. All right, so. Um, let me show you, this is a regular PSP battery. Usually when you boot this PSP, but when you put the PSP battery in, regular one, it won't turn on, right? It'll do this, it won't turn on. Like, I, it's in, and it's still off, and I have to turn it on manually. Now, when you have a Pandora's battery, that's not the case. It'll turn on by itself, but it will not do this, it will just be a black screen. Okay, don't worry, that's perfectly normal for a Pandora's battery. So first of all, before doing anything, let me run down the steps of how to prepare for uh, your custom firmware, PSP. I'm going to show you how to get 3.71M33-2, I think. Okay, so, uh, alright, and uh, just to let you know, there will be a lot more tutorials, hopefully at least two tonight, um, which is the 23rd of May, 2008. Okay. So uh, let me show you my PSP. Okay, so you have your PSP here, and uh, as you can see, this has gone right here, the network, because it's 1.5. Just to verify it with you, let's go over to System Settings, and uh, I don't think I'd be able to read it, because my camera's not that good. But uh, there you go, 1.5 um, firmware. Can't see it, it's better right there. Um, uh, 1.5 firmware, okay? And, uh, alright. I recommend your battery being full, at least, or really high. And the next thing you want to do is go up a few to format memory stick. And press yes, and press yes. There's no memory stick inserted. That's right, I forgot to insert it. Right. Well, let's insert this memory stick. I'll show you. But we must format it. Yes. Format it. Alright, PS, it's formatted. And if we go over to any of this stuff, um, there we go. Everything is empty. Okay, no data. Alright, so uh, that's prepared. Now comes in the USB connection part. Oh, by the way, you might want to use an extra PSP battery, even though in my next video, I'm actually going to make the next video on how to uh, 
downgrade your PSP um, from 3.71, what we're going to do, back to down to 1.5, and how to put your PSP battery back to normal, convert it from a point of orders. Okay, so uh, get your USB cable, plug it into your computer here, and plug it in from the top, let's go down to USB connection, and there we go, on my computer, this pops up, and I'll see you on the computer screen right now. Peace out for now. This won't make a difference. <laughs> okay, now our PSP is in USB mode, and this should have popped up. If not, then go to my computer. Go to computer. And load up the removable disk, whichever one it is, okay? Which mine would be F. Now, what you want to do is make sure it's connected. Yada yada. Now I'll give you the link, which is this right here. I'll give you the link to that on the description, which should be on the right hand side of this video. You'll download this, the Pandora Universal Downgrader Easy Installer. Now I like this one because it works for both the FAT and the PSP Slim. Okay? And it's probably the easiest to use. So what you can do is double click it and unzip it or grab the file and drag it out. Okay? It'll extract and uh now exit this. Okay, so this is it. Double click it and you run the auto play auto run. Okay, so you double click that. That's it. Now you go to step one. It's really, really simple to use, okay? Step one. Connect your PSP via a USB cable and select your PSP drive and press OK. We've already connected it, so we just press OK. And now we look for it. Mine's removable disk F, and you click OK. Now go to step 2. Your PSP memory stick is going to be logically formatted now. Press Y at prompt, and then enter. Those will pop up. Type in Y and press enter. Now step 3. Your memory stick is now being going to be modified. At the prompt, press Y. Press Y and OK. Now reboot your PSP and go to step 4. OK, so I'm not going to show this just because. Just press circle on your PSP and hold up your power button and keep holding it up until it turns off by itself. Now you've completely turned it off. OK, now you just turn it on. Turn on your PSP. It should reboot. Listen. Okay, so you should hear that. Of course, duh. Okay, and uh, let's go over to USB connection again because that's what it says. Or press OK for connect. Connect it again. Then this should pop up. You'll see that it's empty inside. That's completely normal. Press OK. There you go. This will pop up. And uh, don't unplug your PSP from the USB connection, don't make sure it has enough battery power, make sure everything is good to go, okay, don't exit this, it will ruin it, okay. Extracting, now you'll see this go on, okay, the, it's now installing the 3.71 official firmware update, and now you go to the PSP's game directory and run the Pandora's battery creator. So I'll see you on the webcam right now. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now you can exit USB and uh, you're still on 1.5. Okay. Now here's the important part. Your battery is going to be turned into a Pandora's battery. You've, you've already made the magic memory stick. Yeah, that easy. This memory stick that you have in here right now is a magic one. Alright, so now you scroll down to the memory stick and that program has installed a few files. It completely ignore the corrupted data, don't delete it, you need it. Then go right here to the Pandora's battery creator. Okay? Now, this program can only be run on 1.5 I think, so that's why you want a 1.5 PSP. Besides that, you can make a magic memory card on any PSP firmware. So now this menu will pop up and uh, read it when you're there. 
but basically what you want to do is just convert the pat battery in service mode 1 aka Pandora's battery by pressing X okay right here just press X now you'll see some stuff happen writing serial it just writes one little code and it's done alright so all the PS PSP will reboot now you turn the PSP off Okay. now you're done you're finished you've made a Pandora's battery and a magic memory card this is where the magic happens so let me show you what you've done Of your PSP with the battery in it and the magic memory card. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and take the memory stick out. And uh, you've done nothing to it, right? And here is the battery. Okay. Alright, so get your PSP with the memory stick out, start with it out, and just pop it in again. Okay, so just put it in, just like that. By the way, if you like what I'm doing and showing you, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. So now it's in. Now, remember last time when we put the battery in, we had to start it manually. We had to press the power button. Check this out. Right when I put it in, it starts without me even pressing anything. This menu should pop up. If this happens, you are on your way to getting custom firmware. When you come to the screen, you know that you basically have custom firmware. Okay? This is what I love about the Pandora's battery and the Magic Memory Card memory stick. It's com it's really easy to uh, use. Okay? So your options are press X to install 3.71 M33 custom firmware. Press O to install original. 3.71 firmware, or uh, completely ignore the next two options, okay, which is press X to dump the NAND, and press L and R plus start plus home to restore NAND dumped physically dangerous. Ignore the last two options and press X to install 3.71 M33. Just press X, and it'll start doing this by itself. Okay. Let go for a moment, and I'm going to go turn off that light. Now it's writing, it's flashing all of the files. This is completely normal, okay? Everything that it's doing. Now, this does work for the Sony PSP Slim, for the PSP Slim 2000 version, okay? And this does work for any PSP firmware, okay? As long as it's not custom firmware, then you're good to go. Now, if it's custom firmware, um, I, I think you can still enter the Pandora's battery. I did it before. It did brick it. Um, I had to go back and forth from original 3.71 to M33, back and forth, um, right after each other, to unbrick it, because I don't think it's meant to do that, but hey. As long as you have a Pandora's battery and a magic memory stick, you're good to go. And the great thing about the, um, converting your Pandora's like this is that you can always change it back as long as you have a PSP, a 1.5 version available. You can always just uh, change it back to a regular one, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. Because if you open up the Pandora's um, program again, it'll say convert it to an original battery and you're good to go, but yeah. You, you'll see if you want to do it and if you still have a 1. Point, um, 1. 1.5 battery. Okay. So, it's done. Okay, it'll say install success. Press X to shut down the PSP. Press X. There you go. All, you, all I did was press X. Now it will not turn on, okay? Now, what you want to do? is actually I didn't have a spare battery I don't have one for this uh, firmware so hold on let me turn on the light because I can't see anything okay this
this is how I'm going to run this PSP, because I don't use this PSP at all. I just really use this to, um, to give my slim custom firmware. Okay. So, uh, let me show you what you would do if you don't have an extra battery. You're always going to need your PSP charger. Okay, this is my, this is kind of my little trick that I like to do. Okay, so you're going to want to take out the magic memory stick if you want. doesn't matter. Okay. Plug in your uh, cord there. Okay, so it's plugged in. And you can turn it on without the battery. Okay. It's kind of a duh. But you just turn it on. And where did I put my Pandora's battery at? Where did I put it? Oh. Okay, just uh, misplaced it. Okay. Well, then you insert the battery and you're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and show you what's going on here. Oh, that's right. I forgot to show you this. My bad. Okay. You want to turn on the PSP and hold R right away, okay? So turn it on and hold R. What this does is it, is it brings you into the recovery menu. From here, it's very important to go to configuration. No, 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 no. Go back. Go to advanced and go all the way down to format flash one and reset settings now it'll reboot your PSP and your PSP will not um, totally freeze this screen should pop up sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't for me at this blue screen you press circle yeah, just circle and you just wait a little bit Oops. Ah, my brother he broke his thing right here, so that's what you keep hearing, like it doesn't close. Okay. So anyway, um, Jesus. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, well, just turn on your PSP, and you'll have to go through all the initial setup again. English, um, my time zone is GMT08, I'm Pacific Time. You just set everything, you know. And, uh, press X, and there you go. You're your PSP up and running again, okay. I'm going to show you that if we go to system settings, scroll all the way down, system information, um, I'm running 3.71 M332. So congratulations, you have just converted your PSP into a custom firmware PSP. Okay, and um, okay, congratulations. That's all I can really say. <laughs> okay, and soon I will make a video on how to downgrade from this 2.5 this way you can change any of your friends PSPs into, oh, I mean their batteries into Pandora's batteries and I'll make a whole bunch of different uh, custom firmware videos for you guys hopefully uh, this will go far and hopefully I'll get a lot of new viewers out of this okay so I'm glad you guys enjoyed this video if you did please comment on what you thought of it if it was easy to understand if it was easy to follow I don't you like to use my webcam a lot just because uh, I don't know I don't like to do it, but um yeah I will show you how to get PSP tube and stuff later on and okay um alrighty.